inside that courtyard. And then you're going to have a walkway or a big cafeteria that'll wrap this way and wrap all the way up to It was really important for me to show the students um, not only like you know what it looks like the process and like actually be able to go out there and say like this is what we've been learning about look how it's actually applying in this certain circumstance and then also being able to um, just you know get them out of the normal classroom for one period of day. We went on a tour of the job site of the uh, new additions being added onto our school and looked at all the uh, steel structural framing and. Uh, concrete masonry units being put in and all of the stuff and then after that we went and looked in at the uh, 3D drawings of the school and what it's going to look like when it's finished and see how they do all that. Five years ago you would have seen a stack of drawings six inches high right here. And that was one thing that was really nice about being out on the site is like I could ask very leading questions to the head of construction say like, well, why are you doing it this way? And then like he explains it and I was like, and then I just like pointed at all the students and I can see a lot of them nodding their heads. And it was a pretty good experience seeing how uh, the construction actually goes on and like what steps and procedures that they have to take during the whole uh, project. I'm a hands-on learner, so I thought it would be cool to learn how to be in construction for like a backup in case if like, I want to go to school for nursing, so in case that doesn't work out, I was thinking about doing construction. I feel that there's sometimes a stigma around, you know, just some group who's going to go out and just throw up a wall kind of thing, but it takes a lot of attention to detail, knowing math, knowing physics, knowing material science to a certain extent to, to build a house. And so trying to, to show these students that, you know, you can take these things that you're learning in your other classes and actually have these practical applications and then uh, you know, get a job doing that. The whole construction process is actually really interesting to me and I really want to get more involved into it, like just into, not just in class, like I want to actually like take, uh, I want to go to college, study all this and uh, continue. It was way easier than teaching it out of a book. You know, you, I mean I can talk about how to lay out a wall, I can talk about how to build a wall until I'm blue in the face, but if you don't have those spaces where you can go out and see it, you can go out and touch it, you can use your other senses and it's not so abstract. It makes things a lot easier for students to understand. So we got to like see what materials they're actually using and like how they're using it in the reconstruction. And I wish, you know, that they could be even building the school for the next 20 years so I would always have a nice little field trip right there. I thought it was really cool. It was a good experience.